Hey everyone, how are you doing? Today, I'm going to show you how to implement text to video model in automatic 11 stable diffusion, right? So there has been a new update, uh, a new model for text to video, right? But I wouldn't expect you guys to create amazing outputs just right now because it's like at the very start right now and uh, uh, the outputs are sometimes uh, really blurry and there are some issues with the outputs as well which I'll be discussing further down in the video and I also have to remind you that you, need, you would require a pretty heavy GPU right now the minimum requirement was around 12 GB to run this I have an RTX uh, 3080 16 GB graphic card even sometimes my uh, PC kind of struggles with uh, running it uh, like you know you want to increase the scale and things like that so yeah uh once that all that all is done let me just show you some of the results i have created i just have uh, started like messing around with it a couple of hours ago so this is something i created like in so it does create one second video so it's like me trying to just uh figure out with the prompts uh like what works best and everything so yeah uh once no let's just deep in uh, dive deep into the installation part so you would require to install uh, an extension so this is uh, the first version of the extension i'll be putting this uh, link in description as well after you install it yeah, once uh go to your extensions go to install from url and press install as i have already installed it uh, it just shows me an error so once you have installed it, you have to download the models. And the models are kind of heavy. They are uh, around like 10 GB or so, all of them together. 10, 14 GB, sorry. So here, here is the link for downloading the models as well. So once you have installed the extensions, go to your uh, web UI, right? And go to models. Go to, then create a new folder called model scope. Okay, and in that you create a new folder called T2V as well. After that, uh, paste all these models here as well and copy the configuration.json file as well. Uh, they did not mention this in the uh, uh, in this in this readme, in the extension readme, but uh, I couldn't uh, get it running directly when I just put in the models. So I figured you have to also uh, copy the configuration.json file as well. Once you have installed everything. You will uh, you will actually get a new tab called Model Scope Text to Video, right? In which you can generate act your text. Uh, you can generate your video from any text prompt you want. So I would suggest if you want a longer set uh, videos, you have to increase the frame rate. So for 24 seconds, uh, 24 frames, you get around one one second video or something like that. And if you are going with something uh, more of uh, a kind of long video like probably five or ten seconds you can mess around with the fps uh like you can reduce the fps to make it longer and things like that as well so yeah now let's just start uh creating a video let's go uh, i also figured that it's not taking in like too much of complex prompts right now so let's just keep it really simple we will say that uh an awesome explosion in space right we can give an artist name or like yeah let's not give an artist name we'll just say history and details and probably just say 8k and about yeah i mean uh i'm thinking i'm not trying to make it too complex because uh, uh one one thing i realized was when i was messing around with the prompts when you give too much of details in the prompt, it is giving uh, only a noise output. So I'm just, just trying to create a really simple prompt. So let's just say insane details 8K and that's about it. Yeah. And the, in the native prompts as well, we just say low quality, maybe just add worst quality. And yeah, we can uh, set it up with this. You can reduce the steps if you want. Uh, steps 13 looks fine for me. CFG scale also looks fine for me. I, I tried increasing the width and height, but uh, my GPU was not able to handle it. So uh, you can directly check it out. So once you start doing this, 
you can see that uh, it start it's starting to run you just give it a moment you can see that uh, it will start running like this you'll get the tensors here tensor 826 and tensor 760 and so on uh, it does take a bit of time even with my gpu so you you know for people who, are, who don't have a lot, uh, no, lot of graphic uh, processing unit I, I would suggest you guys to wait for a while and there will be more optimized models in future probably in a week or so so don't if you don't you guys don't have to worry about it so i'll just pause the video and show you the final results once it's done okay so uh here here are the results i've got it took me around five minutes or so to generate this so you can see ains and or some explosion in space right but this is pretty good you know you can upscale it using real as and gan or things like that so yeah that's about it i know this is pretty short i just wanted to get into how to install it how to uh you know what, what are the things i messed up with so i i would rem i should remind you, you know uh, do copy the configuration.json file i don't know if it will be automatically installed uh because when i was dealing with this it was in a different version uh the extension was in a different version so yeah just figure that part out and yeah if you have any queries do let me know I hope you guys have a great day and do subscribe to my channel. That's about it. Have a great day, everyone.